hey what's up guys i'm lan here welcome back to a new video on my channel so in this video i'm going to talk about ios 15.6.1 update on my iphone 13. so as you can see this is an iphone 13 and i've been using ios 15 stable series of update on this phone so yesterday night i've received ios 15.6.1 unfortunately i wasn't able to capture the size of the update but looks like this update was pretty small in size so if you're having starting from iphone iPhone 6s to iPhone 13 any device you have which supports iOS 15 will definitely be able to see this iOS 15.6.1 update now talking about the update size in all the devices that you might have the update would be between 200 to 300 MB so in this video we're going to talk about what's changed in iOS 15.6.1 I know that many of my subscribers were not happy with the battery life and seeing storage issues with their iPhone on iOS 15.6. So let's see what's changed with iOS 15.6.1 in this video. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. But before that, if you're new here and happen to enjoy this kind of videos on my channel, do give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. Now with that being said, let's get right into the video. All right guys, so the first things first, let me go to the settings and general and about section if i go to the about section as you can see if i tap on the software version so the new build number is 19 g82 now i had taken a screenshot uh, you know before updating so let's have a look at that so as you can see before updating the build number was 19 g71 and there is no new modem firmware update it is pretty obvious because the update size is between 200 to 300 mb so as you can see from the screenshot the modem firmware before updating it was 1.70.01 and after updating as well it is still the same for my iphone 13 so this is a pretty small size update now if you are for some reason not seeing this update what you have to do go to settings click on general and click on software updates and click on this automatic updates turn this off and make sure your phone is connected to wi-fi or you have a good cellular network or the data connection active on your iphone and then check for the updates you would definitely be able to see this ios 15.6.1 update now with that out of the way let's talk about what's new with this update so regarding this update as you have probably guessed this is basically a point one that means a security update which also was mentioned in the screenshot that i showed you earlier so let me show that to you again so as you can see it clearly mentions this update provides important security updates and recommended for all the ios 15 users so if i go to the this website of apple so it says this about ios 15.6.1 so it says it is a security update and these are the things they have fixed with this update so it's a kernel update so which is the underlying operating system part of underlying operating system actually that they have fixed something on that and webkit which is the underlying infrastructure of your safari web browser they have fixed things on that so this is a, a you know pretty important update i would say now many people have complaints about the battery life and the storage issue so let's have a look at that one by one so if i click on settings general and click on iphone storage so as you can see this is a 128 gigabyte of iphone and if i come down after updating i have seen that the system data is consuming 10.77 gb on my iphone 13 so i have said this multiple times on the video if it is consuming between 10 to 15 or 20 gb maybe don't worry about that because iphone phone or the operating system has the ability to manage the you know system storage efficiently but you know for some people it was like the system data or the ios it was capturing so much of storage the iphone itself is running out of storage so that issue should be fixed because these are probably the last updates of ios 15 so probably in a month we'll get to see ios 16 so this should be bug free now talking about the battery life let's have a look at that so after updating as you can see the battery health is still 100 percent i have started using that uh, this iphone 13 for last last two months so there's no battery health drop obviously and the battery life was actually not that bad on ios 15.6 i know people have concern with the battery life of ios 15.6 but i tell this to my every viewer who watch this video battery life is something that is user dependent and depends hugely on the way how you use your iphone so i'll definitely come up with the follow-up review how is ios 15.6.1 battery life and how is the performance 
this is just an initial stage after updating i'm just making this video so i'll talk about the battery life in uh in like probably in next few days so talking about the performance performance is of course good because this is an iphone 13 and many of you are also interested in geekbench 5 so i've ran geekbench 5 as you can see the single core score came out to be 1716 and the multi core score came out to be 4489 so if you're interested in geekbench 5 scores these are in front of you so that's it for this video apart from this there are no changes that i was able to notice because mostly it is a <laughs> security update and if you ask me whether you need to update to ios 15.6.1 i would definitely say yes if you are on ios 15.6 this update probably won't add any new feature because all the features have been moved to ios 16 but still it is very important for you to update to ios 15.6.1 because not only all the time you need the new features it is also very important to fix the existing issues along with the you know security update so definitely from security perspective this update is very important so i would suggest if you are on ios 15 definitely update your device to ios 15.6.1 so that's it for this video with the help of this video i just wanted to let you know that i have received ios 15.6.1 and this is now available to all the users who are on ios 15 so make sure you are updating your iphone to latest ios 15.6.1 let me know in the comment section which iPhone you are using and if you have already updated to iOS 15.6.1. In couple of days, I will again make a video on how is the battery life and performance on iOS 15.6.1. So also stay tuned for that. So with that being said, I will see you on my next video. If you have enjoyed this video, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to the channel. You know that your like and subscription motivates me a lot and you know helps me to put out more content on YouTube. So with that being said, I will see you on my next video. Bye-bye.